Hi, here's a quick demo on how you can download videos that you've recorded through Panopto. So what I'm about to show you would apply to both videos that you've recorded intentionally in Panopto for future distribution, or videos that you've made of a Zoom call that have been stored in Panopto. Um, why would you want to do this? Sometimes it's useful to have a local copy of a video just as an archive, and sometimes you might want to be doing some editing of your videos offline. Um, in either case, it can be useful to have a copy that's stored on your computer or on a local hard drive. So the first thing that you need to do is log into some form of Panopto, and you can do this either through the Panopto website or through Canvas. So if I go to the Panopto website, as you can see here, I'll just click the sign in button. Um, and then it will ask me to enter my email address. Um, and I would use my Champlain email address. And this will take us through the regular Champlain sign in process, just like you would for your email or Canvas or anything else. So I'm already logged in in my browser. It's going to take me straight to Panopto. Um, and in Panopto here, if I go to my folder, I should be able to see all the stuff that I've recorded in Panopto. Depending on how you have things organized, you might have to go somewhere else within your Panopto um, account. But we can see here that we have all my videos. Now, if I was going to do this from Canvas, let me switch to Canvas real quick. I'd accomplish the same thing by scrolling down to Panopto video in the menu of my course. And this also lets me view um, the videos that I've made um, as we wait for my computer to catch up with what I've asked it to do. Um, this will let me choose, for example, again, to go to my folder where I can see everything that I've made. And I could, in fact, use this path to get to those videos. So if I clicked on this video, it's going to take me to the video directly in Panopto. And so after this point, what we experience would be the same. So let's say I want to download this video. I'm going to click on it, and it's going to take me to the player within Panopto, um, which is a thing that's really useful for your students to use because they can see uh, the slides and you um, on different screens. I'm going to pause this video real quick. Um, and then you would just go up here, um, sort of toward the upper right, um, and choose this download button right here. It says download podcast. Um, you're not really downloading a podcast. And what this will do is it will actually combine these two videos into the format that you're watching right now with the speaker view in the lower right and then the screen share encompassing the rest of the screen. So you just click the download button and your download will begin automatically. And it's that simple, then you should be able to find the video wherever on your computer downloads typically land. So if you're an Apple user, that would be in your downloads folder. If you're using a different operating system, it might be wherever you set them to land. So that's a quick explainer on how to download videos from Panopto. I hope that's useful.